Huggy Face recently made a major announcement regarding their new tool called Transformers Agent. If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, it's a massive open source community and a hub for many open source models for natural language processing, computer vision, and more. Organizations like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft have contributed models to Hugging Face along with independent researchers. Models such as the Segment Anything model I previously covered from Facebook. Hugging Face provides an API and a quick setup to utilize these pre-trained models off the shelf. For example, if you want to perform text to speech or you want to create an image with stable diffusion, Hugging Face has you covered with a pre-trained model that you can leverage. The Transformers agent takes things to a whole new level by allowing users to instruct personal AI agents with natural language. The agents take that instruction and using OpenAI or similar language model, convert it into a prompt. The prompt has access to all the possible transformers in the Hugging Face hub, so it can call in those APIs to carry out commands. This is similar to what we might see with OpenAI's plugins and agents like uh, AutoGPT. What makes Hugging Face so powerful is the amazing capabilities and plugins it already has access to. The possibilities of what an agent can string together are endless. While this interface may not be accessible to everyone, it allows developers and researchers to test out new ideas and implementations that they can later create a more accessible UI on top of. To get started with Transformer Agent, open this demo collab from Hugging Face. If you're not familiar with Google Collab, it's a great tool that allows you to start a small cloud runtime where you can try out and collaborate on Python scripts and implementations. So basically you could do this on your own machine, but Google Collab gives you a very quick way to spin up a Python based environment where you can try out this tool. It's free, but it offers the ability to buy credits for more powerful processing. So copy the initial repo and check that you have GPU initialized because what we're going to to be running is going to require a graphics processing card and we want to make sure that that's set up. You can then start a runtime or it will be done for you when you run your first command. So the first thing we'll want to do is to run the setup command. So if you actually look deeper into the code here, it shows you all the different steps that are being taken to get it set up and Transformers version 4.29 uh, running. So you can check the code here for your own reference if you want to build something similar yourself. So the next thing you're going to need is a Hugging Face token. So you can just go to your Hugging Face account. It's free if you want to sign up and then you can download and create a new access token. So you can copy that token then and paste it into the dialog box to move forward. Generate the token, then copy and then paste into the dialog box. So of course, in order for this to work, we're going to need a large language model like one from OpenAI. So you're going to have to go to OpenAI to get the API key. Now, if you haven't done this before, you can just sign up to platform.openai and then you can create a new secret key and then you're going to paste it in to the dialog box when you are prompted. So now we've got OpenAI connected, we can actually start to use the agent. So there's two different commands. There's agent.run and agent.chat. Agent.run allows us to carry out single commands and chat has a memory and it remembers as the conversation continues. So let's just change this little prompt here as a test and hit run. The first time you're going to do this, it's going to have to install a lot of dependencies. So it takes a little bit of time. Be patient. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's gone and generated a boat for us on a beach, which is exactly what we asked for. Okay, so now we're going to expand it a little bit further and using natural language again, see if we can get a caption for the image that we're talking about. Now, in this case, we're using the agent run command. You'll see that it's asking for the um, the, the variable of boat. And when we run the last command, we basically use boat as the variable. So that's how the agent knows what we're talking about. When we're using agent.chat, you don't have to put in those kind of variables because it remembers the previous conversation. The single based uh, agent run command is better at some things and chat is better than others. It's a, it's a case of trial and discovery. 
So let's run this and see if we can just naturally ask for a understanding and a caption of what's in the image without actually having to know what model we want to pick or use to do this. This is the real power of a transformer agent. We don't need to know necessarily what model we want to use to be able to extract that information. So here you can see it successfully captions the image a boat on the beach. Essentially, it knew which transformer it needed to use without us prompting it and was able to pull out the caption. You can actually find that transformer if you look through the run code just above. So the agent can handle more than one request per prompt. So basically, you can ask it to do probably up to about three things successfully, and it can carry that out. So in this case, we can fetch, fetch the website huggingface.co, we can summarize it using a different model, and then we can translate that text to speech so we can hear it via another model. Okay, so let's run this, see what we get. It's going to take a moment to run through all the models and download the requirements, and then you should get this audio file. Hugging Face is an eye community building the future. More than eye organ. So these are just some basic examples of what's possible, but they are basic. If you look at the list of tools and different things that we can do with this, and the amount of different APIs that we can possibly add in here, your brain will start to explode with the amount of possibilities that can be built. And you can even add in your own new tools over time. So this is a great introduction. It's a starting point. I recommend you start to play with this, get to know what's there and explore the vast amount of models that are out there and what they can do. And then just sit down and start to think. Think about how you can use these, how you can string them together, how they can get working. Try them out, test them, see what comes out. And then you can start to install this locally or on your own servers and start to build a decent UI around what you'd like to bring to your own audience or your customers. I'm really excited. Best of luck.